If an alien spacecraft were to land right here in the heart of Boulder, what would you do? We go to news team's Natalie Smithson for the details on a ballot issue that addresses that very question. No. I'm here at Dwayne Physics, where during the late 60s, CU conducted an investigation on the existence of alien life and UFOs. It was called the Condon Report, and it was headed up by uh, Dr. Edward Condon. Now, this report concluded that aliens visiting Earth and UFOs are mostly just explained by normal phenomena, but Denver resident and alien expert Jeff Peckman disagrees. In fact, he has gotten an initiative approved uh, for next year's ballot that, if approved, um, would pass to create a coalition for the creation of um, extraterrestrial uh, coalition in case um, aliens were to, in fact, touch down. But not everyone is completely sold on the idea. I think it's ridiculous because I don't believe in extraterrestrials, that the government or at least the government's trying to hide them from us. I think it's ridiculous. Peckman believes that the U.S. government is hiding the truth about alien visitors to Earth and that when this conspiracy is blown, the Denver residents need to be prepared. Dr. Larry Esposito, a professor of astronomy at CU Boulder, believes that while intelligent alien life is possible, it's not likely they have come to visit Earth or that there is a government cover-up. I think it's, it's likely that there's life in the universe, but it's very unlikely that they would visit us. In fact, there are reasons why people have explained why aliens wouldn't visit us. And I'm pretty skeptical that the government is hiding evidence of intelligent visitors to the U.S. from us. Is this the same government that d designed my tax form? Is this the same government um, that um, regularly um, uh, has difficulty implementing things that are much easier than hiding the whole alien civilization? Reporting live from Duane Physics, Natalie Smithson, News Team Boulder. The ET Coalition, as it's being called, got enough signatures to be guaranteed a spot in the August primaries. If passed, it would be funded by grants and donations.